Hey YouTube, Dan Ottawa here, the best third slash fourth tier Pokemon Go battler in the world, coming at you with a video on TMs, specifically your elite TMs that, that you may be sitting on like I am, and what do you do with them? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over all the legacy moves. So the legacy moves can be either moves that were in the game at one point that are now taken out of the game, and the only way you can get them is by using elite TM, or they also loop in community day moves here. So as you can see, like Venusaur with Frenzy Plan here. So I'm going to go over the Pokemon that are sort of beasts uh, with the moves. but And then I'll tell you whether or not you need to Elite TM them. So like, for example, Venusaur is the perfect starter. Because you, if you are running Venusaur, you need Frenzy Plan, 100%. My assumption is... For the most part, do not spend your elite TMs on community demon moves because there's always some events. Now, the event may be a year down the road, unfortunately, but there is always some event, be, be it the last December of the month of the year, where you get sort of the last two years community day moves, or they run these special events, they run the Kanto event and stuff, where you can get these community day moves. So you've had multiple chance times to get Frenzy Plant on Venusaur. Um, same with like the Kanto Cup multiple times. Uh, all these other Pokemon for which we'll go over had their community day moves multiple times. So I don't think it's worth personally for me using an Elite TM on that. But if you like that, say you just have. 15 that you buy all the packages so you have a hole burning in your pocket yes frenzy plant venusaur is a beast that is one to use uh so let's go down here oops okay so we have so and here's the problem now with how are they going to do this because charizard you can now get the dragon breath fast move and you can get blast burn uh, charge move are the two that you want to run it with. It can run with a few others here, but those are the ones that you want to run if you want to run double legacy. So you could go elite uh, charge jam there, but again, I wouldn't. The problem is, how are they going to do it moving forward with community day? Because you're either going to get one or the other. Sometimes you can get both. Uh, like they did both on the I forget what the grass Pokemon was. Rose Raid, I think. Yeah, Rose Raid. It got the it got a quick fast move and a quick charge move. So it can do that, but I don't know if they will do that with Charizard, especially that Charizard has had multiple already. So again, it, this is not one of the Pokemon I'm super high on. If you, again, it's more of like a raid attacker if you want like a super strong Mega with Dragon Breath. If you want a Mega and Mega's ever come to PvP with Dragon Breath, that'd be one worth using on a fast move. But other than that, I would just probably let it sit. Water Cannon Blastoise, not as strong as other Water Cannons. Uh, Beedrill Jirwin, again, it's a it Bejeweled Jiron is a community day move that I think you'll probably have a chance to get again, so I won't waste on it. Gust Pidgeot. So this one's interesting because I think you need Gust Pidgeot is definitely better than Wing Attack, but uh, someone was mentioning this in the in the comments oh like a few weeks ago, is that if you actually use Wing Attack, the energy generation works out better for the first Feather Dance move. I mean, Gust is still a better move overall because it's like a confusion type move with a strong energy generation. But f in this exact scenario, when Wing Attack just got nerfed, not Wing Attack, when Feather Dance just got nerfed, Wing Attack could be more optimal. So again, if you're going to use the fast one, and Gust is one of these legacy moves that you're not going to get during like a community day. This is a pure legacy move that came from, um, it was one of the, one of the Go Battle Knights during that this was the reward so that's how i have it uh twister don't really care here P pikachu serving thunder just more of a uh, having it so there's a lot of these pokemon like i just looking through all these i haven't and this is how i because i started pretty late i started 20 i mean not as late as some people but i started like december 2018 so i a lot of these moves i have just looked at and be like i have no idea half these moves even are uh, Primate with Cross Chop is an interesting one because right now, w with I'm running it, I'm running it with, as most people were, Night Slash and then like a close combat nuke. So to have a Cross Chop on Primate may be 
an interesting play. It would kind of give it more like of, of a champ style vibe there. So that for me personally, if you have a bunch, I that wouldn't be one I would be opposed to. So now this is interesting because because we know that Poly Wrath just got Scald, but they're saying that you can get Poly World with Scald. And so this is one of them where I think if you want to like run a little more spice in the Great Leak, having a Poly World would have you would give you like higher level. Um, and to get the scald on it, potentially worth using. Um, not gonna go into theirs. Machoke, same thing with the cross chop. One could argue getting the cross chop on Machoke is probably worth it if you're gonna run a Machoke. Uh, again, Machamp, I would just wait for the community day again. None of these are, I think, and Dugong. Here we go. This is the one that I spent double uh, TMs on. Dugong. Ice Shard, Icy Wind, double Legacy move. Ice Shard for the energy generation, Icy Wind for that just um, strong lower your attack uh, move. And if you want to run Dugong, Dugong is pretty solid. It's pretty tanky. So it's a pretty solid Pokemon to use. It is tanky. So this is one for me personally double legacy move that is worth investing in if you want to run the dugong in the great league um yeah i, I would say i wait for all those for nothing immediately out of here shadow bone again sh shadow bone was one of these where on the marowak where it was in a raid day so the only way you can get it is a raid day a lot of people did the raid day, so I think you could probably just trade for one if you really want. If you have like a good IV when you want for Shadow Bone. Personally, if you have a great IV Marowak, I think Shadow Ball is okay. It's the generate the energy is not too too much more to get to there, and it's a good move. So I think it's worth just running the Shadow Ball if you don't I, I don't think it's worth risking. So Lickitung so I don't have a Lickitung built yet, but Lickitung is obviously a crazy, crazy tank in Great League. And if this is the case that you need body slam a legacy move on it, uh, I would I would 100% use your elite TM to put body slam on because lick tongue is a beast in the great league. So that is one I would probably invest in. Uh, as we go down, C King, yeah, C King has a little bit of play, but not a ton. Gyarados, Aqua Tail, again, Aqua Tail is must needed if you want to run Gyarados, but it's it's another one of those community day moves that you can probably get again. Uh, Icy, Ice Beam. Ice Beam was another one of those raid um, legacy moves where you got it when you did, it was just had like a three hour raid hour. But a lot of people use Surf and um, what's the big... Uh, the Skull Bash. There it is. Skull Bash on Lapras. So I don't think Ice Beam is nice for certain coverage. So it's nice to have one. But I, uh, so if you have, again, if you have a ton of TMs and you want an Ice Beam Lapras, I think it's worth using on. But overall, not so much. So obviously, so here's, here's where it gets interesting. Is all these Pokemon, all these Eevees that just got their Community Day moves of these unique ones now makes the last resort, I think, a legacy move, which means you could probably only get them through elite TMs. So I think that if you want a, like you have a Hondo Umbreon and you want a last resort on it for Ultra League, or you have a good one for Great League and you want last resort, I think you need to use an elite TM at this point. So those would be ones worth investing in. Um, Zapdos with Thundershock. So if you have a good Zapdos that you want to use for um, I used it for my, I used one for Master League. So I, 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 so that's one. I have an amazing Shadow Zapdos that I use for Master League. So I, you need Thundershock on it for the energy generation. So going with the Zapdos is 100% worth your quick TM use. And Moltres with Sky Attack is the same sort of thing. If you Moltres has some decent play, not a ton of play in in the core Master League, but maybe some in like uh, certain cups. But if you want to run the Moltres, you need Sky, and you want to run it with a second move, Sky Attack, uh, well worth the Elite TM on. Draco Meteor, you can get away with Hurricane. 
Psy Strike Shadow Ball. So here we go. Mewtwo. Mewtwo, 1000% needs Psy Strike. There's no way around it. If you've got a great Mewtwo and it doesn't have Psy Strike, it's useless. Use the Elite TM on Psy Strike. So simple as that. Shadow Ball, I think you can get away with just because there's so many darks now uh, in Master League that running a second Focus Blast or Ice Beam or Thunder is probably better as the second move as opposed to Shadow Ball. So Psy Strike for 100%, but other than that, not needed. Frenzy Plant, Bass Burn here. Again, same thing. I just wait for Community Day, Hydro Cannon Community Day. Um, let's see. Dragon Pulse is Community Day. Politoed with Earthquake. So this one is a legacy move, and I have used a Elite TM to get Earthquake on my Great League Politoed. I've seen a ton of people run it with Blizzard. Earthquake just gives you a little more coverage if you run into like a water. Because if you run into a water and you only have uh, Blizzard and, and Weather Ball, you're kind of limited. So Earthquake gives you a coverage move. So it's worth it if you want that. But Blizzard, outside of that, like, B Blizzard has some coverage, like, overall. So Blizzard is not a bad move to use. But, again, if you want something the other to throw at water, you should use the Elite TM on Politoed for Earthquake. Gone over these other ones. The babies, not going to smack down. Again, Community Day move. Aeroblast, it is, well, I'm, I mean, I'm filming this earlier. It's out right now, but it's probably not going to be out there. But again, it's one of these that comes back. And that's the thing. Mewtwo Side Strike comes back a lot. Lugia Aeroblast is back for this second time. I expect others to be back with their legacy move multiple times too. So it's one of those that you could probably trade for this one. So I don't know if, I don't know if it's worth using an Elite TM because I know a ton of people will have Aeroblast Lugia. And same with the Mewtwo Side Strike. Like, if you have a hundo and you want to just don't want to trade and hope for the best then just use the elite tm but if there's other options through trading to get to it earthquake coho yes 100 percent. i this is a legacy move very very few people probably have this one so it is worth trade uh worth tming the charge tm to get so the ones on the, I, I should clarify the ones on the left side here are the quick and the ones on the right are charged so these are the charged ones right here so Frenzy Plant, I would oop, go away. Sorry, I had my cursor other thing come up there. So that, so Swamper with Hydro Cannon, uh, again, Community Day move must. It's a must. It's a hundred percent a must on Swamper, but it's one that I think is just worth waiting for a Community Day update. Synchronize, not huge. It's, Gardevoir gets its strength as a fairy anyway, so I don't think it's it's a must get. Body slam, get that garbage out of here. Earth power, moon blast again. Community day moves, not worth getting an outrage. Meteor mash. See these again. These are all. So if you have like, so let's just put it this way. If you have like fifteen twenty. Uh, I think meteor mash. Not those, not so much, but meteor mash for sure. On Metagross is a much uh, fire punch as a legacy move 100% on Groudon you need that bait move uh, you need that quick move on Groudon so you must use the fire punch so that is another one that I've used an elite TM on is fire punch Groudon Hurricane Ray again if you want it for raids it's not super useful in PvP uh, and point on Hydro Cannon again is a is a must have but I think you can get it through Community Day move so it's not a must use for this. Um, and so Lick Licky with Body Slam too. So same thing. Lick Licky is super strong in the Great League. If you can get to one, um, I don't know about the Ultra League, but Great League for sure. So it's worth investing the Body Slam. Rock Wrecker, again, community move. Worth getting, uh, but not worth the TM in my opinion. Uh, Ancient Power, no. Try Attack, no. Grass Not Crest, yes. Um, the amount of people who ask me, one, how do I get a below 1500 crest? And two, how do I get a grass knot crest? Both of those were a very special event. Uh, and yes, a grass knot is. I mean, I've seen Cresselia used with Moonblast and Future Sight, which is not a bad combo because uh, they both hit pretty hard. It's just you need a quicker, if you want a quicker um, charge move that has more coverage, grass knot is the way to go. Um, Incinerate Talonflame, yes, again, another one of those community day moves that I think it's worth using if you have a ton, if you have like 
10 to 15 just sitting there, I think it's worth using. Um, and now we're getting into old legacy moves that are no longer in the game, which is just interesting just to kind of read it. Oh, no, that are now in the game. So these were at one point legacy moves, but they're now in the game. So those are interesting. But anyways, that's the list. So as you can see, there's a few just pure legacy move, which I've gone over um, with your like Ho-Ho Earthquake, your Fire Punch, Groudon, uh, your Icy Wind, Ice Shard, Dugong. Like those are the ones that I think are musts. The community day moves, it's up to you. If you have a bunch, if you have like a bunch you want to use and you're not going to use them anywhere else, then getting your Frenzy Plant and Hydro Cannons, I think are your, and Meteor Mash on Metagross are your three priorities there. Um, outside of that, nothing, uh, nothing that really, and the last resort, last resort for Umbreon in the Great League and Ultra League. So those are what I would use the Elite and uh, Great and Charge Elite TMs on. Um, and that's it. So hope that helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next.